bottom of uh, the boat is uh, now uh, glued on. Uh, before I glued this on, I uh, measured out and cut the slot for the centerboard. Um, I did this basically so I would know uh, where it is so that when I put the bottom on I've uh, put in six screws, two at the uh, forward end and two at the aft end. These screws line up to go underneath with the edge of the centre case there, so that's back into where the centre case wraps around the girders and the packers and a couple more in the middle here and um, that just makes sure our bottom is nicely attached to the come underneath nicely attached, you can just see that junction there why it stays in focus of the uh, centre case and the bottom itself um, this is one of those parts of the boat that does take quite a bit of pressure because all of the lateral resistance of the boat uh, when it's sailing is applied through that centre board and onto the centre case so it's one part of the boat that you need to have quite strong. Today we're putting on our uh, bilge panel and our side panel on the boat. The uh, bilge panel is probably the most difficult one to get on. Uh, what we've done here is we've just tacked this bilge panel on at uh, both the forward and aft end uh, we're just making sure that it sits flat across the um, stations and formers that we've got through here, our bulkheads and those uh, temporary formers. And then underneath, just making sure it's sitting nicely along that chine. This is how we scribe along uh, to match this line here on the bottom panel onto our bilge panel. I've just got a small stick here and I've just cut a, a little kerf in the edge of the stick where I can uh, put my pencil in. So I'm just going to start at the middle for a start and I put my pencil into that, that hole and I can just run that piece of wood along the edge of the panel and that keeps me a set distance away. Now when this whole board gets moved upwards, once we've cut to that line, it should fit nicely against the bottom panel. Here's the bilge panel now cut. Um, I won't pretend it came out perfect first go, but just easing it up with the plane in a few spots uh, gets it closer. I've just uh, bevelled the edge back a little bit underneath because it um, obviously has to sit against that bottom panel at an angle. As you can see as we move down, up here there's a, on my finger there, there's a little bit of a gap. Um, I'm really not going to be too concerned about that. It actually looks worse than what it is because of the blackness of this bottom board. But when we glue it on, I'll just make sure there's uh, quite a bit of glue sitting in that joint. And I'll just uh, smear that off flat. And uh, that'll be fine. There's enough uh, surface underneath here with the chine for the plank to attach to. So all we need to do now is on the bottom edge, just scribe it along that other chine and uh, cut it reasonably close. We won't try to cut it perfect and we'll plane that once we've got it uh, attached to the boat. The bilge panel's now on. I've What I'm using is about a 14mm staple. Um, it sits, I'll come down so you can get an angle on that, but it sits itself reasonably um, proud of the, the wood. So uh, these are easily removed with a pair of pliers uh, once everything's dry. And we'll just look at that gap between the panels again. And uh, as you can see it's got a nice uh, bead of glue down there. There are some places where I had to put a little bit more glue in and fill it in. And I just rubbed this down with epoxy solvent to take off uh, the glue that was sitting on the panel. It's a lot easier to come off with solvent at this point than it is to try and sand and uh, file it off later. And uh, once that's all dried up, then we'll just uh, ease these two panels together with the plane. And uh, just uh, planing down that side and it'll be perfect. On the top side of the panel, you can see it's sitting over the top of the chine at the moment. And once that's dry, we can just use the plane to plane that back 
to the uh, chine so that we can put our side panel on. As you can see here, I've cut the center case slot by drilling a few holes. And at this point here, I've just widened it out. I'm now going to trim it out with uh, my router, hand hilt with the uh, trim off bit, which should run around the inside of the center case and uh, trim the edge nicely to the center case. Uh, if you don't have a router, uh, then you'll need to use a series of saws and chisels and whatever else, but uh, if you have got one of these, it certainly makes the job easier. There we go, there's the slot finished, uh, that trim bit, it uh, sits up nicely against the edge here and um, just have to sand over the edges here, I don't think I'll worry about too much about um, straightening up those corners, should sit fine. Let's take a walk around the boat now as you can see on this side here. Um, I've actually used the plane to cut down these uh, panels now uh, so that they match up quite nicely. Used a bit of sandpaper to just ease over the edge and uh, it's looking pretty good. Um, we will fill some of these nail holes that we've got here. You might be able to just see these are the holes from the staples and you can see they're very tiny so those will fill quite easily probably just when we uh, do our epoxy coats at the bottom those will fill up um, what we want to do make sure as we're doing those is we do treat these edges of the ply here with uh, some good amount of epoxy um, because if there's anywhere that ply will start to give away it will be at the edge like that there are some places here we've got a few little voids and we'll need to fill those up but all in all it's getting very close to our turnover time. Big day's arrived for the fire bug. We're ready to turn it over. So we've trimmed down the uh, plywood uh, at the bow and stern and rounded over our chines and pretty much got the bottom of the hull ready for its first coat of epoxy, uh, which we'll do once we're ready to turn it back. Here it is back inside and now all we need to do is remove the, these uh, temporary stations out from the uh, inside of the boat. So this is station number two coming out. Um, because the bow widens it's pretty easy just to push this one forward or aft sorry and it uh, should pop out. Now number three, at least around there. All we need to do is just flex this one a bit, turn it, and out she'll come.